I'm live. I think I'm live anyway. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I said that I would come on and do my top tips, my top tips each week. Um, and so this is the first one I'm doing. I'm a bit later um, at getting live today because I've been for a walk, hence looking a little bit dishevelled. So I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, it's important, isn't it, to go out and uh, get a bit of fresh air and um, have a bit of self-care as well as doing work. So I um, haven't forgotten. I am here. Um, nobody's live with me at the moment, but that's fine. I'm just going to talk and hopefully that people can watch this back when they're online and get some um, tips some of my marketing tips so um, if you're joining me while I'm live please do say hello and let me know that you're watching um, and I always try and make these marketing tips as well refer to your your business so these are going to be quite short tips that I do because um, when I was doing my other Facebook lives they were taking like it would take me a good few hours to prepare oh good morning Irene thank you for joining me um, yeah, when I was doing the Facebook Lives, it was taking me so much time to prepare them. And then I would be chatting away for like two hours and stuff. And I was like, oh, as I'm getting busier, this isn't um, sustainable. However, I still wanted to give out some free content to people and try and help other people with their marketing during this time. So um, today I'm going to be talking a bit about clarity in marketing because a lot of people do find marketing a challenge and confusing and so is my picture going a bit weird it looks a bit strange doesn't it like my books up here on the shelf are kind of a bit odd it's a bit weird isn't it um as long as you can see me I suppose that's the most important thing um but yeah people tend to find marketing can be confusing and it's like some kind of magic dark art um I've had loads of people say that to me in the past but Sometimes you just need to see the wood for the trees and get a bit of clarity um, with what you're doing. So I'm going to give a few little tips today that might help you get some clarity and some pointers on what you can do in your marketing going forward. Um, so the first thing you need to think about is what do you actually do? What is the business or service that you provide? And don't just think like I'm a marketing consultant. So I don't I wouldn't just say. I'm a marketing consultant. What I do for people is I'm like an outsourced marketing manager where I can effectively manage their marketing while they can concentrate on running their business. They can forget about the marketing and do what they do well while I look after um, their marketing. So you need to think about like, what is it you actually do for people? Um, then you need to think about, which a lot of people I find forget about this. Who is your target customer? And it's probably something that you hear a lot of, you know, like, oh, target customer, target customer. But actually, this is so important because you could do so much marketing. But if you're not targeting the right people, then your marketing is not going to work. So really think about who is your target market. So, you know, what type of people are they? What kind of age range do they fit into? Um, what do they do for a job? What are their hobbies? What are their interests? And one of the most important things to think about as well is if you were your target customer, where do you receive marketing? So what social media channels are you on? What newspapers do you read? What books do you read? What magazines do you read? What TV programs do you, do you watch? Where, um, where do you hang out? Where do you socialize? How can you get in front with those people as well? So you really need to think about your target customer and target audience. Um, the next thing that you need to think about is like your message. What do you want to tell those people? So we know what you do. Um, we know who you want to target, but what do you actually want to tell them? So again, I could easily say, and what you do, you know, I, I do marketing, I help people with social media, I help with marketing strategies and writing content and creating websites and things. But what I actually do for people is give them the peace of mind to know that their marketing is in safe hands, to um, to know that they don't have to worry about their marketing anymore, that things are going to get done when they want it to be done and that somebody is just on it. So that's the message that I try and give out to people. So think about what you do and how you help people. What are those key things that you really want to shout about in your business that can help people? The next thing that I want you to think about is 
okay so we get overwhelmed with all these different things you can do with marketing and it's like where do you even start so what i want you to do is to literally pick three things that you're going to focus on so hopefully you've like written write some notes and come back to this and you know write down you know what you do who you target customers what are your key messages but think about three things that you're specifically going to do to target that customer so um i don't want i mean there's so much you could do pr social media events networking partnerships sponsorship award like there's just so much stuff you can do in marketing which i think is why people get so overwhelmed so you just literally i mean i could pick loads of different things but for you if you're feeling a bit um overwhelmed by all the things that you can do literally pick three pick three things that you can focus on in the next six months a month six months a year whatever it might be and really focus on those things and think about those things in terms of will my target customer see them am i telling them what i actually do am i telling them um what service i provide and how it's going to um answer their problems or benefit them am i telling them this kind of stuff am i doing it in the right way and will they see it will my target market actually see this piece of work that i'm doing so think about you know you could be it could be reaching out to new customers it could be um doing more on social media or even learning the basics of social media um it could be increasing your audience it could be i'm going to focus on facebook adverts uh, i'm going to look at doing trying to get more stories in the paper i'm going to maybe develop some video content or free content for for my clients and customers uh, or potential customers but don't feel bogged down and overwhelmed literally by all the different marketing tasks you can do it's better like it's that well-known saying isn't it although i can't think of it <laughs> you know like spreading yourself too thin if you're trying to do everything but not doing it very well you're not going to achieve anything if you pick three things and do them to the best of your ability and do them really really well that is going to pay dividends and that is going to make a difference to your marketing so my biggest point here is like really please don't overwhelm yourself with marketing think a bit more strategically write down what you do who your target customer is and what you want to tell them and then how are you going to do it but just pick three things that you feel comfortable with that you want to develop and honestly you will see better results from focusing on a couple of things than trying to spread yourself too thin so write it down set yourself a challenge set yourself a time scale and then work back and look at what you've achieved and then you can tick it off and go oh yeah that worked and um, you can really make a difference if you just focus in on your marketing and then that just gives you a bit of clarity as well you don't feel that big sense of overwhelm and confusion um so that yeah that is my top tip for this tuesday is um about how to focus on getting some clarity in your marketing. So I hope that was useful. Um, if anybody has any suggestions or any questions, you're like, I don't really don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do that, you know, please do comment. If you're watching this back later, leave a comment um, or share it with some other people. Um, and you know, I'll address those questions in future top tip Tuesdays. So I hope that was useful to everybody. If you're watching, have a nice day um, and tune in next Tuesday and we'll give away some more um, free content and some more of my top tips. Bye.